lives next door. She's such a dear old soul. Of children, she's a score or more. Her husband's on the dole. I don't know how she manages to keep that long time sure. I said to her today as she was standing at the door. Don't have any more, Mrs. Moore. Mrs. Moore, please don't have any more. The more you have, the more you want today. Say, but enough is as good as a feast any day. If you have many more, Mrs. Moore, you'll have to rent the house next door. They're all right when they're here, but take my advice, old dear. Don't have any. She's had no end of husbands that in love with her have fell And this one is her seventh one and he don't look too well She married him a year ago and on their wedding day As they was walking down the aisle I heard the parson say Don't have any more, Mrs. Moore Mrs. Moore, please don't have any more the more you have, the more you want, they say. But enough is as good as a feast any day. If you have many more, Mrs. Moore, I don't know what we'll do, I'm sure. Our churchyard is so small, there'll be no room for them all. So as the overcrowding in the district is already very severe, and this morning at breakfast said I to my wife, but one golden wedding we see in a life. Tis now fifty years since the clergyman said in that clear ringing voice with this ring I thee wed. So it is, so it is, said my dear old wife Jane, let us have our old wedding day over again. Off we went to the church with our cheeks all aglow, and that same love at heart as we had years ago. crimson glow Oh for the golden day dreams fifty years ago Oh for the fairy voices and the songs they used to sing Telling of heavenly joys my boy Found in the golden ring Back home at our homestead When we went inside No banquet awaited The bridegroom and bride My thoughts wandered back To the hour of my joy When I opened my arms For my dear baby boy the happiness heaven has promised to men cannot be compared to my happiness then. It seemed that my world could not ever be said. I'd no eyes, I'd no thoughts, but for my little land. Scene after scene of his life came into my mind. I can see him now as I saw him then, standing at the cottage door saying goodbye to his mother, and then saying to me, Goodbye, Dad. England needs soldiers to sustain her honour, so I must go. You would not have me called a coward. That was the last time we ever saw the poor boy alive. 
As I thought of it, the tears run down my silly old cheeks. And then I felt two loving arms still round my neck, and that dear old voice that has cheered me on all these years, murmuring in my ear. Oh, for the golden visions, oh, for the crimson glow. Golden daydreams fifty years ago. Oh, for the fairy voices and the songs they used to sing. Telling of heavenly joys, my boys, found in the golden ring. Telling of heavenly joys, my boys, found in the go.